What's going on guys? My name is Nathan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a trading card uh, series called Happy Gnomes. Happy Gnome. This is a <clears throat> 420 marijuana themed trading card set with uh, featuring gnomes trying to or uh, discovering marijuana, figuring out, lo enjoying marijuana. Whatever I'm trying to get it to, to. How about you focus on uh, the text here? There we go. So cannabis stickers, gnomes, and good times wrapped into one fun card set dedicated to the awesomeness of chronic herbs. This inaugural edition of Happy Gnome contains 30 colorful trading cards showcasing some of the greatest strains of cannabis. Get ready to join the Happy Gnome family as they partake in the best herbs found around the world and beyond. During their high adventures, all for weed and weed for all. So it features uh, this art, you know, artwork style with with gnomes getting high. Here's the the packaging for it. I got this off of Etsy. Uh, twenty nine out of sixty nine. Nice. Limited edition. This is uh, I believe the, this is the first edition, second printing. And uh, hopefully, I, I hope it's successful and we get more of this so it's in a plastic case and you can tell the plastic case was just a little too much for the cards <laughs> it's it's kind of uh it's poorly taped together there and yeah it's taped it, it's taped along all four sides let's go ahead and cut this tape off and the plastic uh case here is like really just glued to the to the card stock wrap some cellophane here let's get the cellophane open hopefully we can get the cellophane open jeez or shrink wrap whatever you want to call it there we go all right so there's stickers in here oh <laughs> you hear that crack <laughs> Cards are stuck together. All right, got them loose. So this is, so I figured this would be the checklist card, but it looks like it's just some card art. So from uh, from what I understand from the eBay posting, this, the card art on here is done by a, a, a Navy vet who suffers from PTSD. And he started doing these trading cards as like a way to cope cope with his PTSD and he's also like very passionate about the effects of marijuana on uh, on PTSD so there a lot of these so you know they're coming from a good place and so the card features some art and then on the back it talks about a, a strain of marijuana so this one's ACDC gives you the idea is that it gives you everything you need to know about the strain itself, like pain, stress, muscle, inflammation, seizures. seizures. So we've got Apollo 13. I'm not going to go through all of these, obviously. We got Alaskan Thunder, Band Aid, Blueberry. Some of these I'm not familiar with. Yeah, these cards are stuck together. Uh, Blue City Diesel. Blue Dream. I've heard of Blue Dream. I've heard of Blue Rhino. Cookies and Cream. Purple. Double Purple Dojo. Dojo. Elephant. Ghost OG. Green Crack. I have had Green Crack before. <laughs> Jack Frost, Jedi Kush. I've heard of Jedi Kush. Legend of the Three. Manitoba Poison. Manitoba Poison. Mastodon. Moonrack. Northern Lights. Uh, I think Northern Lights is a, a, a relatively like famous strain of marijuana. New York City Diesel. Or do you, yeah, yeah, New York City Diesel. Res Remedy, Skywalker OG. I think everybody's familiar with uh, Skywalker OG as well. Sour Tsunami. Stephen Hawking. I've never heard of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I love the art on there, though. Strawberry Cough. T 
Tangerine Dream sounds familiar. Trainwreck sounds familiar. We've got two different Trainwreck cards. I wonder what the difference is. Sativa, Sativa. I mean, they sound the same. One's stronger than the other. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. This is a cool art set, a cool concept. I like, I like the story behind it. I like the art. I like the idea of the artist doing this art in order to cope with his own issues, or his own like you know PTSD issues. I, I think that's I think that's great. I think that's fantastic. Uh, the publishers for this card set, uh, Zelfa Comics, they have a Indiegogo. I got an advertisement for it. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. In the packaging, I got an advertisement for it called uh, Baramus Brew the pow and the Power of Beer. So it's a, it's a lumberjack that brews his own beer that gives him superpowers has an Indiegogo campaign right now. And as of the as of the recording of this video, it is still ongoing or like I think it just started like a few days ago. Uh and they're you know the uh, tiers are reasonably priced. They're not they're 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 reasonably priced. I think you can get like a physical copy of the issue for like 11 bucks, which is like fantastic. Uh you can get like a PDF copy for 4 bucks, which is great. It's a great. There's some variant covers, there's a drinking card game. There's there's some other cool little stuff on there. They're not asking much. I think around four hundred and seventy dollars. So uh, I'll link it in the description down below. I'm definitely gonna back it. That sounds like a cool uh, sounds like a cool comic book, you know. Uh, but I would highly I would highly recommend this card set. I found these on Etsy. I'll link to, I'll link to that in the description down below. So anybody who's curious can go check it out for themselves. Uh, the set was like thirty bucks maybe. So I. If, if you're a marijuana smoker and you like this kind of art, I would highly recommend this. If you're collecting trading cards, go for it. It's a pretty cool set. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this content, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more of this type of content, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.